I don't know. I don't teach him to mess with us. That's right, man. We're uh, <laughs> we're experienced. I'm experienced. I think he was scared of me. Oh, he's the Excalibur. I think he saw the name Donkey Puncher. And uh and I'm hitting him. I'm taking him out. Oh, oh shoot. he's going at me. I don't care. Oh no. Uh, hello everybody, Donkey Puncher here with a new game called Star Maid. Uh, I'm playing here with James from MC Pro Hosting. As you can see, hey right in front of me, he looks really, really strange. Um, very strange. They, uh, I don't know if they're going to change those those faces or not, are they? You have, you have like a uh, smirk. <laughs> yeah, we all apparently look the same. Kind of like, you know, Minecraft Steve. And I believe there actually is a way to change the texture of your character. Uh, awesome. through the launcher but if not I'm sure it's coming soon so this is a, a new game well a new game for mm, I guess for us this has been out for a while right yeah it's been out from what I've seen a couple maybe like a year or so maybe two okay but it's kind of hit big now and Yogg's cast just did a video on it also yeah they just created a video I believe today actually and it just went viral completely crazy um, basically the idea of the game is it's Minecraft in space um, you have basic blocks that you can place, and what's really cool about it is, is you can build your own spaceship and fly it around, and that's what we're going to be doing today. Yeah, that sounds awesome. So you guys, this is MC Pro Hosting. You guys now have servers uh, with this game on it now. Yes, it's called SMP, or SMProHosting.com, um, StarMadeProHosting.com, and we're going to be hosting servers. We're going to be the first official host for it. And that Can't is, wait to get started with it. That is awesome. It'll be down below in the description. So uh, let's figure out how to play this game. All right. So basically, we'll start off by building a ship, and you'll do that by pressing X. Okay. Um, this is a shop right here. Uh, that uh, purple triangle is a shop, and you can buy stuff in there. So I'm going to press X. Oh, to create a ship. Okay. Um, and I actually got my name, Donkey Puncher. That was awesome. I got oh, in the yeah. game early, so. <laughs> Uh, when I did Minecraft, I had to do Donkey Puncher in a bunch of letters. So, please enter the name of your choice. Oh, the ship. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's great since it's such kind of a new game. You can get really great usernames right now. Yeah, yeah. This is the time to do it. Um, and this game is free. Uh, you can donate and pay the three dollars dollars also. Um, and I'm going to um, right now. This is the free version, but I am going to donate to support these guys. So, okay. Um, enter the ship core. So this is the uh, the part of the ship where you can enter. I, I remember seeing a video on this, right? Yes, this so, is your ship core. It's basically your whole ship. If this gets destroyed or it overheats by getting shot at, you're gonna, you know, your ship is gonna blow up. It um, it's basically how you get into your ship as well. It has to be visible for you to get into it, and you get into it by pressing R. Okay, I just did that, and I hit the. Um, space bar and I hit R and I got out um, so we can build off this yes and if you want to there is a build mode that you can use while you're in your ship and it'll allow you to kind of you know it's kind of like Minecraft uh, what am I, I can't even think of it um, not survival but creative where you can build this you know you got a longer range to build and place blocks but uh, you can definitely build on the outside of your ship as well. So to start off your ship, you can just start by placing some of the gray hole around it. Um, this gray hole is, you know, it's your outside of your ship. It what protects it's what protects your core. Yep. And you can place uh, blocks by pressing left click. Uh, yeah, opposite of a little opposite of Minecraft. So left click. Let's do that. There we go. And I can just place them anywhere, right? Yep, anywhere okay. over your ship. There we go. Uh, anyone that is just downloading this, kind of watching, I, don't, I guess this is kind of a tutorial. So to move is W, A, S, and D, like Minecraft, but to go up and down, because you are in space, you're floating. As you can see, James is floating right there. It's the Q goes down and the E goes up. So this is something I'm going to really have to get used to. Um, Especially when you get in creative mode in Minecraft, this is just a lot different. So, so I want to build around this the core. Yes, you want to leave one spot open to actually be able to press R on it because okay, that's, that's how you get into your ship. Oh, I see. I'm hitting the wrong button. Okay. Um, but do I want to make this look like a ship, right? 
I mean, when you're first starting out, you don't have too many blocks. Okay. Um, you know, it probably won't look too much like a ship. Okay. Um, There's my ship. <laughs> All right. So now that you kind of have some gray hole around your ship, let's go ahead and start placing some um, engines on it. Okay. And those are known as thrusters. And I actually need to buy some of some of the thrusters from the shop real quick because I died. Hyperflux coil thruster. And yep. buying stuff, uh, do you need? You have money? Oh, I see credits. Twenty five hundred. Okay, or uh, twenty five thousand. And how do you get yep. more? Um, you can get more by mining, and okay. there's actually a little bit later on, or we will go into salvage cannons, which is what you use to mine elements with, and okay. then you can sell them to the shop. I guess the one thing we didn't say there was this is an infinite, infinite. <laughs> Infinity World? Infinite World. There you go. Can't even think of the name. Um, I saw a video that said it would take you 10,000 years to reach from one side to the other. Hmm. I haven't actually looked into that, but I'm sure it's just like Minecraft where it's, you It know. just goes on forever yeah. and ever and ever. So it's... It's, it, uh, it's this, space. <laughs> yeah, this is Minecraft in outer space. Although, again, I don't want to say this is Minecraft because it's not Minecraft, but it, it's very similar in some ways. All right, so if you go ahead and start placing those thrusters, and okay. probably want to do put. It doesn't matter where you place them, but just for kind of physics' sake, we'll want to place them on the back of the ship. Awesome. Okay. And if you, yeah, um, and let me check the back of your ship. Generally, when you're in build mode, it shows an arrow, um, which way is the back of your ship. Okay. And I just checked that for you. This is the back of your ship here. Oh, this really? Side. Yeah. Oh, so so how, how do I get rid of these engines? Um, right click. Oh, okay. Awesome. To remove blocks is right click. Okay, so I can go... I'm going to do that. And that. How about that? That's the back of the ship, right? Um, this side here, I'll place them for you. Oh, okay. How do you know it's the back of the ship? If you jump in your ship real quick, you'll see an arrow at the... Kind of the top of your screen right below... Oh, I see right there. Okay. I yep, gotcha. and that'll show you which way... So I, got, I have a lopsided ship. And, uh, I gotta fix that. Yeah. Oh. oh sorry. <laughs> there you go. Uh, okay, there we go. That's an awesome ship. It looks like, uh, uh, I don't know, the Enterprise from Star Trek. <laughs> not quite there yet. Yeah, no, not really. All right. So now that we have some thrusters on your ship, um, this is what allows your ship to kind of fly fast and reach maximum speed. Um, but only one problem is that we need some type of power source. Okay. And if you scroll over somewhere, I'm not sure which toolbar it's in, but uh, it's called SDHCT yep. XM 3.5 power, or yep. 4 power. Three, yep, I see and it. Basically, if you place these anywhere on your ship, they'll provide power okay. to all of your ship. Okay. So you just want to kind of place those. Yep, I put, oh, I can put as many as I want, or... Yep, you can put as many as you want. The okay. more the more power units you have, the you know the less your power is not going to run out as fast, okay, and it'll awesome. be able to regenerate faster. <clears throat> and uh, that's a little lopsided ship, but we'll just do this for that tutorial. There we go. I put all five of them down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Alrighty. So now that our ship is being powered, it'll power those thrusters. Um, so if you want, you can go ahead and kind of jump into it and. Okay. Be prepared. It's this probably is the gonna... worst ship I've ever seen. So it's like a, a a viewmaster. Do you know what those are? Where you put your eyes not. through and you uh, have a oh, little film okay. slide and you you uh, click a button on the side. Okay. Um, okay. Oh, oh. I'm. I just went into build mode. Yeah. Um, and okay. to go back into flight mode, you just press space bar, okay. and that'll switch oh, between build mode and flight mode. Okay. There we go. Flight mode. And be prepared to. I kind of go really far. Yeah, I, I've seen the videos, and it looks like warp speed in Star Wars. I think. All right, and basically to go forward, you'll just uh, press W. Okay. It's all the kind of normal controls. Um, and then where do we want to go? You'll probably want to come back, because then I'll teach you about okay. adding Good weapon idea. systems onto your ship. Okay. And is there a different view mode? Where are you at? Okay. Oh. Is there a different view mode where I can see the outer part of my spaceship, or is it only There inside? is a third-person mode. If you hold down left shift and then use your ma uh, mouse wheel to uh -huh. zoom out, scroll it back. Oh, okay. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's a little... I don't know if I like that. Wow, you really... Uh, okay. Looks like I went sideways, but uh, I'm gonna... In to bear a roll, you can use Z and X. Okay. Oh, uh, no, I'm not moving. Okay, so I, I'm sideways, but that's fine. Oh, you actually got out of your ship. Yeah, yeah. Oh, do you want me to stay in? Okay. If you want, just so you can barrel roll. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Z. Oh, there we go. Cool. It's awesome. Yep. Oh, C puts you normal. So it's Z and what button? It's Z and X. Oh, Z C and will okay. make you at normal um, kind of That's level. Awesome. Okay. That is good to know. I would have never figured that out. It would take me forever, I guess, going through the tutorial. Um, all right. All right, so let's go ahead and add some weapon systems. Yes, now, good. the way any type of weapon or you know, salvage beam or missiles or rockets, any, any of that stuff, it all works off of a computer. A weapons computer will power, or not power, but they'll kind of run. It's kind of like the hard coding of what to run off of for the cannons. So you should see a weapons computer somewhere on... Yep, it's somewhere. a number four slot weapons computer. All right, if you just plop that down anywhere. And it doesn't matter where I set this stuff. Like, if I get shot, it's not going to... Well, if you get shot, it's going to take damage. And if it gets destroyed, then your weapon system will go down. You won't be able to shoot. So that's why you have gray hull. And you want to place gray hull around your ship. Gotcha, okay. O over and even the, um, the, the power also, or no? Yes, over everything. Okay. Um, but, you know, for sake of... Yeah, yeah, tutorial yeah. and kind of new you don't have any resources yeah. but as you go you'll get more resources and you can change your ship layout and whatnot but yeah so basically now that you have your weapon system on it um, come over here or not weapon system but weapons computer come over yep. to it now okay. and press C and it should be highlighted yep okay so now look in your not in your inventory but in your toolbar for an anti-matter cannon Yes. And go ahead and place those on this front side of the ship here. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yep. Uh, oh, was that the power one I took? Oh, oh. dang. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah. So, Minecraft, you right-click and left-click, and this one you do the complete opposite. So, um, weapons, computer. Not to be used to that, okay. Um, did I move the anti-matter? Anti oh, the thrusters? No. The cannon I didn't put on, right? No, okay. So C, and now I want to put the cannon on. There we yes. go. Um, and all the way, like like that? Um, it can or be no? really anywhere. Um, okay. Depending on, I don't want to go into too much detail to overwhelm people, but yes. depending on the way your cannons or power units are kind of grouped together, they'll okay. provide benefits and perks. Okay. So if they're, like, the more grouped Oops. together like that, um, the more damage they'll do. Okay. And gotcha. this right here, so I believe this will make two different shots when you shoot them. So it actually, when you shoot it, it'll shoot two kind of laser beams. Okay. And awesome. then if we were to have one like up here, that'll shoot now three. Okay. Um, all That's right. Pretty good so looking now, spaceship. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So remember when we pressed C earlier for the yes. weapons computer? Yep. Now, did those antimatter cannons turn purple? No. All right. If not, do you still have um, the weapons computer selected? Is it still kind of highlighted? Uh, Flashing yellow. I uh, is that the weapons? Oh, I'm sorry. The weapons computer, right? Yes. Yeah, is it's it flashing. Yep. It's yeah. Okay. So look over one of the antimatter antimatter cannons and yep. just press a V, and it should turn purple. Yep. It did. Wonderful. So go ahead and do that for all of them. Okay. And basically, what's that? What's that? What is that? <clears throat> what's that doing? Is it's connecting them together. Gotcha. It's telling the weapons computer to run these cannons that you're selecting. Okay. So when you fire, it's going to shoot those. Okay. All right. So now that we've done that, go ahead and come around to the core and press R to get in your ship again. Okay. There we go. And once you do that, go ahead and press I. This will open your inventory, but then navigate to the Weapons tab. Yep. And on the Weapons tab, you should see something called um, Docking Beam, yep. and then one other thing. I believe it's called um, Antimatter Cannons, right? Um, I just see a Docking Beam. 
Okay. Hmm. That does happen occasionally. Yeah, and I see it says type docking type docking beam location 888. Okay, it should be saying like weapons cannon or something. Let me actually um, jump out of your ship real quick. Yep. See if I can't do this for you in build mode. Uh, I'm in. All right, there we go. I believe there may be an issue. It's with still highlighted purple. Hmm. I know there's a occasional glitch with it sometimes that okay. they you know they don't work it's still this game is still an alpha so yes this is very early alpha like the old days of minecraft and as you can see there's planets and they look like some so, some sort of a minecraft world it has the same type of blocks and there's planets out there can you go to these planets yes you can okay. we'll go there in just a minute awesome. all right so i went ahead and linked them for you just seemed to be a small minor glitch okay. there but if you go ahead and jump in and press i again and then go to weapons you should see it now yep i do uh weapons computer and then docking yep. beam perfect oh there you and go and your weapons computer it should say one next to it on the left side no it doesn't okay so if you go ahead and click on that weapons computer yep. and then press one that'll hotkey your weapon oh, system we to go. your go first um, to your first toolbar slot yep. And do you see that one uh, one box down below in your first slot? Yes. All right. That basically now says that we've locked or the cannons are connected and they're hotkeyed to the number one slot. So if you just mouse over that, um, not mouse over it, but if you select it with your mouse wheel, uh huh, and then you left click, um, it should. F yep. Wait. Oh. Oh, there we go. Okay, got it. It should fire. And can I... How much ammo do I have? Unlimited? You have unlimited ammo. Oh. What? Um, and actually, don't shoot the shop, oh. because if you do, um, the uh, kind of space police will come out and uh -oh. totally wreck us. <laughs> oh, there's space police? Oh, no. Yes, there are bandits and there's space pirates and whatnot that are just roaming around here. So. And do they take the form of the spaceship we just made and other spaceships that were made? Um, yes, they are okay. kind of intelligent, and when you catalog, it's actually when you catalog a ship, and basically you can save your ship, so if it ever gets destroyed, you can buy it back from a shop. Okay. And basically when you do that, AIs will take your ship design and use it against you. Oh, wow. Okay. They're smart. So, uh, yes, going back to your question, though, of is it unlimited, it all works off of your power. So if you look down at your toolbar in the bottom of the screen, if you look on the right side yep. where it says PW, yep, it, that is your power bar. Okay. So if that goes down to zero, your ship is out of power, and that means you can't use your weapons, you can't uh -oh. control your ship. You have to wait for that to regenerate. Gotcha. And that's where the power units come in. So the more power units they have, the you know the slower that power bar is going to go down. Yes, I gotcha. All right. So, um, do you, did you happen to have any extra thrusters? Cause let me just throw a thruster on my ship real quick. Uh, yeah, let me get out of here. R, and one, two, I have four. All right, if you just want to place two of those on this ship right here, and then we'll oh, fly yeah. down to the planet. Uh, in the back here? Oh, uh, yeah, anywhere's fine. Okay, I didn't know where the back was. There you go. No problem. Oops. And if you want to place that remaining one on your ship, that's fine. Okay. No, I'll put it on yours. You want it? Oh, no. Put it on yours. Okay. You only have two. Oh. Good idea. Okay. All right. All right. So let's go ahead oh, and... Oh, and you covered up your thrusters. Yes. It's okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, everything can be covered. Okay. Um, as long as it's connecting your ship, it's going to work. Okay. Gotcha. And you don't want to cover up, again, your, your uh, entrance to your spaceship. Yeah, that's the only thing you don't want to cover up. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and fly down to a planet. Okay. And if you just want to fly towards a planet, I'll follow you. Okay. Um, a planet as in this little Minecraft planet here, or no? Um, that would be an asteroid. Okay. Oh, um, cool. You see straight off ahead, there's yep. a planet? Yep. Let's go ahead and fly to that. There were things on that planet, too. Were those, like, ores? Um, yes. Each planet, I believe there is... I'm not sure how many there are, but there's... So far, I've seen four different types of planets. There's alien planets, um, there's ice planets, then there's world kind of just Minecraft planets that are have grass, you know, kind of Earth-like. 
and then I'm not sure what the other one is, but there's different types of worlds, and each one has different types of ores that you can use. Awesome. All right. And one thing that this game works off of um, is everything works off of a sector. So navigation, and oh. we'll we'll explain that a little bit later. But okay. if you're ever trying to get to a specific point, there's a navigation um, system, and you plug in the coordinates of where you would like to go. Okay. And you basically just fly sector to sector, following uh, the waypoints. Awesome. Okay. Okay. So I bl it looks like we're getting closer because other planets just popped in the screen. Yes, and. I'm not sure how the planet spawning system works, but I know there's pretty much unlimited amount of planets that'll spawn as you go farther. Okay. And the stars seem to have slowly stopped. Where it doesn't look like I'm warping. Yeah, there's some issues, you know, yeah. still an alpha. Yeah, not everything's perfect okay. yet. Okay. Nothing's perfect with anything, but uh, in real life. Okay, it looks like I'm getting closer. Alright, one thing about planets is that they're not actually round. Um, they're kind of cut in half, and the top part is like a planet, and then the bottom is just completely flat. And from what I've heard, that's done for the coding purposes to make it easier on them. Um, so that is one thing that's interesting, is if you go, up to, if you go into the atmosphere of a planet, um, you may be on the wrong side, because which way is really up in space. Um, so you may see a flat planet, but you just need to go on the other gotcha. side. Gotcha. There is an asteroid. If you want to do a barrel roll, just press X. Oh yeah. Woohoo! All right. Forgot about that. And there's a, something shiny out in the sky over there. It's like the Milky Way's behind us, but is that like a sun? Jeez. That would look to be a sun, yeah. Oh oh oh! oh. <laughs> I, I hit the C button. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, where are you at? Are you right I'm behind right by me? Yeah, I'm right behind you. Okay, okay. now the planet's getting bigger. We're getting there. I see a lot of planets now. Yeah, we kind of picked a very far planet. Yes, I didn't know that, but uh, I don't mind exploring this universe. And one thing that I haven't... I'm sure they're planning to do some type of thing is adding a map system, um, you know, kind of like a star system. So as you explore... That's gonna be really cool, you know, all the planets that you've discovered and whatnot. Yeah, that'll be that'll be great. So, are we moving? Yes, we're moving. So we had like an hour delay <laughs> of fixing things, getting shot at, having an epic space battle. Oh, where did I go? Oh, okay. there I go. Okay. Okay. So it looks like the yellow planet's the closest one? Yep, looks pretty close. A lot of planets around here. Here we go. And this is quite... Well, I don't know if I should spoil it, but this is quite literally flying into Minecraft. Oh, is it? Okay. I can't wait. And there was a noise on my channel that I was asking about. What is that noise? It was it's actually on the server for... Oh, wow. I was on the server for... Uh, not the server, the webpage. And there was chat going on. Whoa, do I need to, like, slow down? Yeah, get, probably. Okay. <laughs> Hold Whoa. on, shift. Oh, oh, I fell out. Okay. Um, R. Oh, no, where did I go? Oh, there I go. Okay. I think I went in the world. I was just going full blast. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Okay, here I come. So I see ores. Are you in the middle of the world right now? Um, no, I like teleported kind of outside of it. I'm going toward the middle now, I believe. Oh, wait a minute. I'm not in a ship. Where'd my ship go? Uh oh. I don't see my ship. I think it knocked me outside of the world. Ooh. Uh, but I'm on the planet. I'm walking on the planet. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah, um, do you see me flying around? Um, I'll, uh, I'll fly around a little bit, see okay. if I can't find you here. I'm on one of the edges. Let me get on top of a mountain here. Yeah, that's one thing. You don't want to fly straight into a planet. You probably want to slow down. Yeah, I forgot. Yay, hit the shift button. Um... 
Oh, okay. I oh, see. There you are. Yep. There you okay. are. All right, your ship. Oh, well, we can look around a little bit, but your ship is on the kind of other side of this oh, world of course, over here. Of course. I'll land up here. Okay. Awesome. So this is the kind of a Minecraft world. Yeah, it looks um, very similar. Um, different texture though. It's got a little different elements to it. Oh, I can go. As you can see, there's an atmosphere now. Can you I can go? Actually... Can you fly up? Uh, yeah, you can jump. Oh, just jumping. Okay. Yep. There's an atmosphere, so. Just oh, there you basically... go. That makes sense. Okay. Where just you... like uh. Oh, it looks like there's some lava down there. I'm, I haven't even tested it if you die if you go into lava. I'm going to say you do. Oh, so you, you're right-clicking? Oh, I don't want to do yeah, that. Yeah, right-click takes blocks. Oh. Yeah, and it looks like I got some... Uh, oh, here, let me drop this to you. Okay. Um, there we go. There, it's on the ground right there. Mm. Oh, okay. Uh... So there's a, there's a type of ore. Um... You know, I'm very new to this as well, so I'm not sure Quantage. what type of... Yeah. Um, what I do know about this game is there's factories, and you can set up factories to mine, I uh -huh. believe. Kind of like an FTP server? Yeah, like they're kind of like a feed to be yeah. server where you can set up things and they'll start mining and whatnot. Oh, and, uh, okay. I fell. You have a manufacturing process that like develops different types of... Um, materials for your ship that you can use. Uh -huh. So, I haven't experimented too much with that, but it's definitely something we should play around with here and get experience with. Yeah, there's a lot of ores here, so or whatever I'm picking up. Yeah, and um, generally there's a lot of ores. I believe they sell better, so they sell for money. Um, that's one way to get money real quick off the bat. Can you take trees? Oh, you can. Yeah. As a now, there's not really a crafting system. I'm not even sure if they're gonna, you know, add a crafting system just to keep it different. I, you know. Yeah, I gotcha. How do you get rid of things in your hotbar? You can, um, if you press I, it'll open up your inventory. Oh, okay. Then you can throw them into your main inventory, or you can just drop them on the ground if you want. Oh, I see right there. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, yeah, there's some big holes down here. Hmm. If um, we can find your ship, we can actually go mining okay. a little bit. Yep, let's do that. I landed my ship up there. Okay. Ooh, some good stuff, I think. You can take flowers, too, but I don't think I want flowers. I think right now solely this game is basically just the crafting, you know, aspect of building a ship and whatnot. Yeah, and kind of maneuvering around the planets and stuff like that. Yeah, there's a lot planned for it, so it's definitely going to be getting this is updated alpha, here. Alpha, by the way, Alpha. One thing that's really cool about the developers is that they release an update every 12 hours. Wow, um, really? I mean, it's not necessarily new features, but you know, bug fixes and whatnot, and they're constantly working on it. Yeah, so I guess always update. Um, I don't know where my, my ship is. Here, I'll fly around and see okay. if I can't see it. I crash landed somewhere. There it is. Okay. Um, right, if you see me right now, it's right over here. Okay. Oh, I got a little ways to go. But it looks like it's easy to get ores. doesn't look that difficult so far. And it's pretty easy to mine. It's kind of like Minecraft Classic right now, the way where you just right-click and you get a block. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm sure it's going to change. Oh, yeah. Major updates to come, I'm sure. One thing that's really cool about this game is the uh, if you look up, it's just like all space around you. It looks yeah, like there's looks... actually a sunrise coming up now. Yeah, yeah, over there. Um, oh, there's my ship. Um, oh, and if you hold space down, you float higher okay all right I've, boy my ship just wrecked like crazy here okay um oh can i stand on my ship oh no okay and uh oh let me get in let me 
to get in. Oh no, did I just get my ship stuck? Oh no, there we go. I think my ship is stuck. Here, I'll, I'll get it out for you. Do you have to, um... We may have to dig some blocks out around okay. it. No problem. There we go. Right, where'd you go? I'm underneath. Dig some of these blocks out around it. Okay. There some we go. Plants. There, there we go. go. Oh, All right. You're my towing service. Okay. That's that's awesome though. Our ships look like complete <laughs> utter disasters. Yeah, pretty. Well, we were in a rush when we made these. We made our ships like seven different times. Yeah, between getting shot at and getting kicked off the game. <laughs> um, oh, I can't move again. Huh, let's uh, try getting my ship and flying it, maybe. Because I can fly your ship just fine. Is it stuck? Hold on. Oh, there we go. Oh, it was stuck. Oh, and I just fell. Oh. Okay. You able to fly it or no? No. Looks like it's stuck. Oh, that's weird. I can fly it fine. Huh. I wonder if it's... It's probably because you crashed into it. And some maybe. It doesn't, it doesn't like bug. me. Um, there, so you can fly that one. Okay, I can fly this one. I think. No, I'm. Oh, oh that's weird. Oh no, kind of. Yeah. So I think I can... it's because you crashed into the, the world. You kind of messed up your. I guess. Yeah, I can barely, barely move. Maybe try a relog. Uh, okay, that sounds good. Where am I? Where am I? Oh, now I see my ship. Okay, that's that's good to know. My ship is back. You able to fly? Um, no. <laughs> I'm well, stuck that's... in the ground. Oh. Well, it may be a good time to yeah cut the video there. <laughs> At yeah. least we made it to a world. We're yeah, now we did. We're marooned on the world. <laughs> yeah, it's not bad. That can work. I wonder if you're flying down, you know, because you're so, like, upside down and whatnot. Yeah. Just try and get into the atmosphere. Yeah, okay. I'm up. <laughs> I'm, there we go. I'm pushing... Oh, oh, oh. There we go. I think I'm... We made it back into space. Okay. <laughs> I flew backwards out. That's really cool flying away from the world, though. Yeah, that's awesome. Then it turns into slowly, it'll turn into that world. Definitely easy to mine. Yeah, um, we even get to do go mining, but mining, um, you get a salvage cannon, you just shoot a beam at it, and it basically beams the blocks up to you. Oh, I did see that. I don't think I have a salvage cannon. <laughs> That's awesome. The ships look great. <laughs> yeah. I, I know it's generic, but it looks. I think they look awesome. Oh, that's yeah. 